Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on Angular Forms. We all know that forms are a vital part of any business application. We use forms to register, log in, submit a request, place an order, schedule an appointment, and perform countless other tasks. While developing forms, it is important to create an experience that guides the user efficiently and effectively through the workflow. As developers, we need to handle data binding, change tracking, validation, visual feedback, error messages, and of course, form submission. In this course, we will see how to do all of that using Angular. To make the most of this course, in addition to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, it is essential that you have a prior knowledge of Angular concepts like templates, components, data binding, and services. You don't have to be an expert, but a basic knowledge is necessary. If you aren't quite there yet, make sure to go through the Angular tutorials on my channel to get a basic understanding. The concept behind Angular Forms is pretty straightforward. The component template contains the HTML to collect the user data. The component class handles data binding. The collected data is sent to the server through a service. Now to achieve this, Angular provides us with two approaches. The first one is template driven forms and the second one is reactive forms. On a very high level, I can say that in template driven forms, most of the code is written in the component template and with the reactive forms or model driven forms, most of the code is written in the component class. Based on your requirements, you can choose one over the other and we will of course discuss more on that. In the next section, let's get started with the first approach that is template driven approach to building forms in Angular. 